Hey guys, so what we are doing today is we are changing a coolant temperature sensor. And this is a 2012 uh, Jeep Wrangler um, with the 3.6 liter V6 engine. And where the sensor is, um, well the best place to look, I guess, or get at this is through the, the, uh, the uh, uh, wheel well. Uh, they're just taking out the wheel liner there now, but where the sensor actually is is way down in here. So uh, see if we can find it here. There we go. It's falling apart. No, it's just falling apart. Um, the sensor, uh, if we can see it, there we go. It's down. This is the wire here. Yeah, so if you can kind of see where my finger is down there, that's where it actually is. Not that finger that you see there, but uh, way over here, that's the wire and the sensor is just in behind that. So that's where we need to get at, way down in there. And the easiest way, like we said, to get at it is just going down through the, uh, the wheel well. So yeah. So that right here, this is the sensor that we need to get at. So we'll probably just get this out of the way here and whatnot, but anyway. And this is the new sensor here that we have to do. Um, actually, we'll get the part number here for you as well. So if you are looking to get that, that is your part number. So there you go there, that's your part number. Um, it's a Mopar piece. It is how much? Uh, under 50 bucks. Yeah, it's just a little under $50 for the part itself. And uh, what you're going to need is a 19 mil um, wrench to get that unscrewed. And the best way to do it is have your sensor unplugged there, have the new one plugged in, have your wrench already, have the other piece already, because uh, we are going to lose a little bit of coolant on this as well. And the best thing to do is just to have everything ready so when you pop it out, you put it back in. And another thing, have the vehicle in a warm location if you're in the wintertime like we are here now, but, and have the, the vehicle cooled down so that you're not dealing with hot coolant and whatnot. But, so, there, we'll get that light out of the way. It's a little too bright. This is the sensor here. And it does have a little red tab on the front of it. It's pushed off to the one side. So that's that's where it fits in right there. That has to come off. Now we just have to get our 19 mil uh, wrench on this to get that out of there. But we got that popped out of the way. So we'll get this figured out here and we'll... Uh, show you when we get done here. So, we got that old one out. The new one's now in there. Release the pressure in the system. Yeah, like we did uh, pop the radiator cap just to release the pressure. Uh, make sure you put the cap back on. And then, uh, there. That was pretty simple. And like we said, the easiest way to get at it is taking your, uh, your, wind, or your wheel liner out. And uh, literally, once that is out, uh, I don't know, I think we've been doing this a whole total of maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the most in that respect. So anyway, 
Um, if you do have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to uh, holler or leave a message or if you have any comments or anything, just let me know. And uh, I just hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope that helps uh, anybody else that needs to do that. So, okay. Thanks for watching and have a great day.